Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly love reading with me, Eva Spirit. Let's get started. Messages for the Taurus Collective, please, regarding love for this week. Taurus. Taurus. Let's tune in. Taurus. Taurus. <sighs> okay, those want to come out. All right, so let's take a look. I feel that perhaps you are taking time to reevaluate a situation, Taurus. The first card you've got is the Four of Swords. Now, as I touch this card, I'm actually hearing the guide say it is imperative that you get some rest. So this could be because you've got something going on within a connection that has been challenging. I'm also hearing the word heavy. If you're not going through anything heavy in terms of a relationship right now, uh, I'm also being told to say that getting rest is still important. There's a, there's a need for rest, recuperation, uh, to reconsolidate your energy maybe you've been a bit scattered lately as well it could be that i'm also getting a message that there would be some sort of energetic upgrade happening okay um and there's also something here about not trying to uh push too fast or too hard or too much with something it's kind of like do what you're able to do comfortably uh, very nice and slow and steady, all right? So that's a general message that's coming through for the Taurus Collective. But with regards to love, I am getting a need to sort of, um, okay, they just said catch your breath with something. Uh, for some of you, it's because a relationship has been heavy. For others of you, I'm getting that, I'm actually getting another message that uh, falling in love or falling more in love, something like this. And it's like, <gasps> You know, you have to catch your breath. Like, is this real? Is this happening? So I have quite a few messages coming through for you guys. All right, the next card we've got is the Hierophant in reverse. So what I'm getting here is a uh, first message that's coming through. There's some sort of uh, sense of freedom, uh, wanting to expand, wanting to broaden your horizons, um, not necessarily being locked in with anything here. Some of you want to maybe explore your options. I'm also getting a message that somebody uh, may, be, may be deciding to back out of something. Again, for those of you who are needing to take rest because you've been going through something heavy in a connection, it would make sense that for those of you going through that, you would then want to be backing out of. Um, yeah, they just said untangling yourself, okay? I'm also getting a message that it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but it's sort of like um, untangling yourself from relationships that feel, that have been toxic, uh, to be honest. Yeah, toxic relationships, uh, heavy, burdened, sort of unbalanced um uh, yeah, for some reason, I just get this sort of like weighty, very weighty feeling here. So you're kind of, yeah, they just said remove the shackles. Thank you. You're wanting to remove the shackles. There's a need to want to um, break free from the old as well. I, I feel a lot of general messages coming through, even though this is a love reading, but what's coming through is coming through. So yes, for some of you with regards to a connection, you're stepping away from it. Um, others of you are in the early stages of something I can see because you're catching your breath, but it's not yet formed. And okay, there's another message coming through that you're catching your breath, maybe you've fallen head over heels or it's a new connection. Um, don't try to make it become something concrete too soon. That's what I'm hearing. It's important to, uh, they, okay, they just said a roll with the punches, kind of just let it go. Again, letting it go at its own pace, not trying to push something forward too soon. The last card we've got here is the Five of Swords. Let's tune into this card here. So this is an energy of walking away from something, things that no longer serve you. I just heard the guide say declutter. So what I'm getting here is that, yeah, they just said spring clean as well. So, and they're showing me curtains open. They usually do that when someone's wanting to reset their energy. So that's kind of my signal for that. So I think for a lot of you, you're wanting to sort of 
clean up your life, so to speak, or spring clean your life or reset yourself in some way. And I feel that um, not only is it happening on a physical level, but I feel like you're wanting to do this on an emotional spiritual level as well i see someone doing some sort of rituals with crystals or smoke cleanse and um, spending time in nature and just um there's all they're also saying reconnecting to the earth energies is going to be really good for you and really helpful it's going to be grounding and balancing i feel like maybe there's been a lot going on for some of you it's very positive in the sense that this really good news you've fallen in love or something really good has happened in your life and for others of you it's sort of like you're pulling back your energy because of something that was difficult but either way grounding yourself in nature is going to be good for you and you are yeah they just said purging okay purging yourself and they're also saying that um for those of you who are in a new connection that's really really nice and really special it's making you look at the other sort of relationships in your life and realizing that there are some you need to walk away from so it, this is really a big reset for you this is kind of what i feel is happening you're at this um they're saying junction so it's a big it's a big um point you know in your journey you're at yeah it's really it, it's good i feel like there's a big turning point uh happening for you all right taurus that's what i got for you i hope it helps please like share comment and subscribe if you resonate with my work thank you so much take care and i'll speak to you soon Bye bye